Good morning, everyone, from the beautiful Bahamas. We're in Nassau, Bahamas this morning. We're not just in Nassau, Bahamas any old regular way. We're in Nassau, Bahamas as concierge. So it's going to be a little bit different. One of the best things when cruising concierge is the bed. I had one of the best night's sleep last night that I've had actually since I've been home because I bought the same bed. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. When you're on the ship, Sleeping in a concierge bed, it's like sleeping on a little piece of heaven. We are headed to Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique because Brooklyn has a 915 appointment, so we're headed over there right now. Brooklyn, are you excited about going over to Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique and getting made over? Yeah. You know, you're already pretty enough as it is. You don't need makeovers, you don't need all these other extra fancy things. Okay. <laughs> the last time we came here, they did not have a Princess Tiana dress, but guess what? They do now. Brooklyn is opted to get the Captain Mini uniform, so it comes with a, I think, a dress, a blazer, a hat. It's pretty cool. Alright guys, they have different options when it comes to their dresses. This is like their signature collection. This is the one that's like $4.50, but it is beautiful. Definitely not that itchy material. You have Cinderella signature down here. Beautiful. This is something I wanted Brooklyn to do before she hit 12 because it only goes up to 12. I have always done. Is this your first time to be captain? Yeah. You know, on Finding Nemo when it came down? Alright, don't stop waving. Don't stop smiling. You ready? You can choose some extra stuff here. Okay, well, it's my pleasure doing your makeup. First rule is just like the genie says in Aladdin, you cannot wish for more wishes. Just one wish per captain. If you want three wishes, you've got to find the two. Yeah. Bibbidi, bobbidi, boo. Hey, captain, I make you. Can you sail us safely across the ocean blue? Bibbidi, bobbidi, boo. There you go. Bibbidi, bobbidi, boo, tea, fast. Just like this. Do you want to wear it? Yeah. Excellent. So you're going to close your eyes and I'm going to spin you around. When I say boo, you can open up, okay? Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Bibbidi, bobbidi, boo. Yay. What do you think? Your very own captain ears and hat, just like this. Do you want to wear them? Yeah. Come on, my behind the ears for the Bibbidi Boppity Boo, Captain Brooklyn of the Disney Wish, I present to you. Woo! Yeah! Hey! Bibbidi Boppity Boo! Woo! There you go! <laughs> Did you make your wish? Thank you. I Alright Brooke, your makeover's done. How you like it? I like it. Would you do it again? Yeah. Do you feel like a magical captain? Yeah. Alright, you look beautiful. Thanks. Mwah. It's your money, right? What? <laughs> Alright y'all, so I'm in the concierge lounge and uh, I just picked up something real quick to, to eat for breakfast and uh, Brooke, you got some muffins? What do you have over there? Uh, cinnamon. Brooklyn has some pastries and I picked up a green smoothie. Is that grass? I, I don't know, but I feel like I need something healthy because of all the stuff I've been eating. I'm gonna <laughs> try to drink something that's a little healthy. So here's the good health. Oh. It's healthy. And I'm sure I needed it. Especially after the night I had or the day I had yesterday. Whew. Ray, you want some of this green smoothie? No? You sure? There's plenty left for you. All right, we're headed to the Grand Hall to check out the Prince's Gathering. It's a place where all the princes that seem to congregate. They're sitting around talking, rumors, gossip. I don't know what goes on, because I'm not a princess. But Brooke, you gonna let me in on the secrets? You gonna let me in on what the princesses talk about? No. 
Huh? I see how it is. <laughs> Oh, I thank you for being here today. Thank, thank you, you very much for inviting me. Captain, oh, well, hello. Yes, we'll say the same with you. Good morning. It looks as though she is bounding Princess Tiana. That's right. Bounding? Uh, I think Tiana was hopping back then, not so much bounding. Yes, he doesn't understand the technical term of bounding. It's a fashion term. Right. Oh, a well, really? fashion? Well, yes. I, I should be aware of such things. <laughs> Do you have a captain here, I see? Yes, indeed. Did you go to the Deeply Bobbly Boutique? Oh, well, couldn't you tell yes. by her hair there? Well, the I, beautiful pink I hair. just wanted to confirm. I didn't want to assume, but that is my greatest wish to go there to. Did you make a wish? Mm. What was? Oh, wait. No. Don't, don't. Sorry. Don't. I always I not get so excited. Tell anyone your wish. Yes. Or else it may not come true. Rookie mistake. I'm so sorry. Oh. Hi, Belle. How are you? Oh, so nice to see you both. Thank you. You had to feel really special to know all those lanterns were for you all those years. It really did make me feel so special. <laughs> it was the best day ever. Aww. Hello, my friend. How are we doing this time? Yeah. Hello, I just love this outfit. It looks like I can help you have a little chip, huh? Hi, Tiana. Hello there, my friend. I gotta say, I absolutely love this outfit of yours. You. Look at my earrings. Um, look at oh, that. Oh, my goodness. I got you. That oh, is you. That is amazing. <laughs> did Mama Odie make that? She did. Oh, she right. put a little voodoo on her and yes. boom, Tiana was on my ears. Yeah, she has a way of just ripping her voodoo magic and throwing my image on things. It's quite funny. But it's a good thing. Oh. We need your image all over everything. Oh, well, that is so kind of you to say. <laughs> Bye, Miss Tiana. Hello, Eric. How are you today? You might have to hide this part. I'm sure you'd love to add it. So we're looking for Maui too. Oh, perfect. And Pua, because Pua is her favorite. And we like Hey Hey too. Hey Hey's cute. He's funny. Oh, so, how do you like having the ship basically? Like, you are the staple. Well, my fairy godmother did a good job, I think. It's like a dream. A wonderful dream come true. This is like family is everywhere. Fam just showed up. I'm going to introduce y'all to somebody special dear, that's real dear to us. Y'all know that. Y'all see them in the chat room all the time. They're always showing us mad love. Y'all ready? My cruiser family, everybody. I need the applause. I need y'all to stand up. Yeah. What's up, family? Hi, everyone. Hey, this is the best. Hi, everyone. We've been all coming to get to hang out with this life. Right? Oh, it is all good see, up here. See, all right, and I'm going to give you the $10 that I said I was going to give you for saying that, too. You had said 100. With interest. You said 100. Come on, man. With interest. Hanging out with AJ and Ray. And we're headed to the Hero Zone, where they have set up the Incredit course. So this is going to be fun. So the Incredit course. It's running, up and running. I'm hanging out with my man AJ over here. My man AJ, you gonna do it? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna see. You know my body ain't set up for physical activity. So I'm gonna be sitting on the side while you need me to do it with you. I'll do it too. If you want something to laugh at, I'll do it with you. <laughs> One thing I just learned in line from a, a young man staying in line is that if you do not have socks, you will not be jumping around on these inflatable bouncy houses. So you have to wear socks. Bring a pair of socks with you. Clean socks, preferably. You need socks to jump in here. You got socks on? No capes, baby. No capes. I got this. Super mom to the rescue. Right. Ready. No capes. <laughs> Man down.
That was a workout. One I didn't sign up for. I did not know. I used to be athletically gifted. I used to race horses back in my day, Ray. This is not easy. That's the thing. You, you look at it like, oh, I can do this. Man, maybe you're really? young. <laughs> Cheetah. Cheetah. So if you are in a wheelchair or you need a scooter, you can go on the next deck and they'll bring you through the crew door so that way you can experience the air hockey or whatever they have in here. So don't be discouraged and not come in this area thinking that you can't get in here because you have a chair. They will help you get up to that floor. So I just want to give you guys that little pro tip real quick. All right, let's go eat some lunch. I just found out the Olaf experience is back. Um, they were supposed to have it before, but they pushed it off and it is on this cruise. It is today at three o'clock. Fingers crossed. They're trying to work some magic. I just got that phone call. So let's go talk to concierge and see what they're saying. Please, please, please. Because I want to do it so bad on that first sailing, but they didn't have it. And the last cruise was the first time they had it. So wish us luck. I don't know if you guys know this or not, but on the Disney Wish in the concierge lounge, they have a lunch menu that you can choose some uh, pretty delicious items from. So if anyone asks, what's my favorite concierge lounge? It's got to be the Disney Wish. We never actually ordered lunch before on any of the other ones. They don't have hot lunch on any of the other ones because oh. they have a galley back here and there's no galley on any of the other ones. So you'll get cold options, but here you can get cold and hot options. Okay, my favorite's the Wish. <laughs> uh, right? Sold. Like, mm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. We'll be coming back here. You save up some money. That's so good. Why don't we just eat up here? We are. You know what else is good? That, because I'm about to eat Mom's plate. We are headed over to Olaf's family picnic, and we didn't know it was open. We spoke to the concierge team, and they made it happen. So, that's another perk about being a concierge. They make things happen. Yeah, so it wasn't available before when we came on the ship the first time, but it is available now. And we're gonna go check it out. First, can I sing? Nope. Hi. My friends, welcome to the picnic. Thank we're so you. Glad you're here. Hi. Hi, your friends. Here you have, like, this is a present from Olaf. Thank, Thank you, Olaf. Culture. You're very kind, Olaf. Oh, Olaf and Kristoff gave us a gift. How nice of them. <laughs> Hey, bro. Are you gonna this for the kids, Dad? Yes. Special individual play. Hi, friends. <laughs> oh, you guys are incredible. I'm so excited you're here. Okay, this is gonna work. And just like we rehearsed. I'm more 
Word in the street, ass. Yeah. <laughs> Word in the street. Chocolate for you too. Uh -huh. oh, chocolate? <laughs> uh -huh. Put your finger on the first string and push down. Yes, people will beat you and come to you and change you. Every one of them's bad, except you. Oh, what a beautiful day for a picnic, Dax. The decorations are wonderful. They're so pretty. I think you all have a natural smile. Thank you. Wonderful time. Thank you. Thank you. My dear, dear friend, Olaf. Oh. He's fine. <laughs> Olaf. Is that you? Hi, Elsa. Let me ask you a question. Is this or is this not the best picnic ever? Time to see what I can do to test the limit. From this day forward in the kingdom of Arendelle, today will forever be known as National Olaf Day. Hey, everybody! Want to be in my parade? Picture perfect. Uh, I just want to say thank you guys. You guys were wonderful. Oh, they were 
my wife had oh, quite a wonderful time. That's so so good. sweet. Thank you for being here. Yeah. This was a wonderful experience and I highly recommend it. Don't wait until your kids are too big and they can't come in here because then you're going to cry. Brooklyn, how did you feel about it? I liked it and the gift I got. Ooh, and she's showing you her gift. We found out that there was not the turkey sandwich that we were looking for on the dream. However, <laughs> those are not the turkey sandwiches you're looking for. <laughs> however, my man Latroy the, on the concierge team, the best person on the concierge team. Definitely, right? definitely. Hooked us up. He made it happen. When I say magical, I mean, I'm, that's an understatement. He's made the whole trip so far The entire magical. trip. Like, I've, I've been in concierge before. I can let you know right now, it's never felt like this. I've never had yeah. anyone take, pay attention to detail like he has to us. He made this work. As a matter of fact, I don't even want to leave the lounge. That's no cap. I'm sorry, I said cap. That, that's no cap. That's no, that's no cap. The youngsters don't like me saying those young words. Latroy, <laughs> and I'm going to say a whole lot more before this is over, but let me let you check out the sandwich that he brought to us. <laughs> really? Hey, I can tell it's on your lips. It's the same like last time, too. That's right. My man. So if y'all don't know, now you know. My man right here is, is, is the reason Disney is as magical as it is. Yeah, if he you. made it happen, I'm not, I'm not just saying that because he's right here. Because like when he's gone, I'm going to say, oh, I'm, I'm, trust, I'm bigging him up. Big up and to guys, my man, LaTroy. What do you think, bro? Joe's like it. Really? Uh, yeah. I want to go to dinner tomorrow. I just want to eat that. Boy, what are you doing with my sandwich? Boy, that's my sandwich. Now, boy, they don't get your little phalanges off of my sandwich. Oh, yes, you for real. That's facts. Mm. To a point. Mm. Mm. I'm about to head down to see the Little Mermaid show. I saw it before. Probably one of the best shows I've seen on any cruise line. I've only been on Disney Cruise Line, so any cruise ship. But I'm going to go ahead down there right now. One of the perks of concierge is that you get to get escorted down to the auditorium before showtime and I think it's 45 minutes before showtime that we have to meet them there and we get to sit wherever we want to. So I'm about to get up close and personal with the performers of The Little Mermaid. If you're on board the Disney Wish, absolutely, you absolutely, positively have to check out The Little Mermaid. Take my word for it. If you don't know and you want to get to the shows early and you are concierge, you have to go to the second floor, I think 30 to 45 minutes before showtime to let you in the show early. Um, I didn't get in here early because there was a bit of confusion. So like I said before, if you want to see the show, especially The Little Mermaid, you want to come to the second floor if you're concierge so that they can let you in the show early. How do I feel like we're the two old men from the Muppets <laughs> where we're sitting at? So we're going to critique the show? Let's do it. And I got free popcorn. All I had to do was show my concierge card and got free popcorn. Freshly popped popcorn. Now this is how you start the show. The second day seems kind of weird because tonight is Pirates Night and we're waiting on Mickey and Minnie's Pirates in the Caribbean here on deck 11 on the pool deck. Because I don't know if we missed it last time or they didn't have it. <laughs> I think they had it, sweetie. I don't know. I don't oh. know, but we know we didn't see it. So this is definitely one of the other things that we did not do. So we're just trying to make up for all the things that we didn't miss. We're just trying to like do it this time, but knowing there's still so much more to do. Yeah, so much, so much more. This time we got a list. Can y'all believe it? I haven't had an ice cream yet. Wasn't it? So, just a quick heads up: they do not have a pirate buffet. 
here on the Disney Wish at the Marceline Market like they do at Cabanas. So, just beware of that. There's no pirate buffet. We're still all good. Tonight is going to be at Arendelle's. So, I'm headed over there right now. I think Trey's waiting on me. Ray and Brooke are going to the room to change clothes. I'm going to eat. I'm not sure what I'm going to have. But you'll see. I'm in here hanging with the homie Trey. And Trey says he's exhausted. Why are you tired, son? I was playing basketball. Like two and a half hours. It was, was it fun? Yeah. You going back? Yeah. I'll go back. I gotta bring water this time. I was dying. Tonight's dining rotation will be in Arendelle. We were in here earlier for Olaf's Royal Picnic, which was a blast. Trey, what's wrong, bro? They ain't taking me. They did not take me. You know how much it costs to get in there? And you know what? It costs less for me to go than Brooklyn. Is it really? Yes. What I really enjoyed the last time was Elsa's Royal Baked Scallops. It came with like this puff pastry looking thingy. It was delicious. I like it. Uh, Trey's really not a fan of this restaurant. You know, Trey really is having a hard time trying to find something to eat. So why don't you just get like a grilled sirloin steak? I'll eat grilled steak. What's that? A lot of it. One more time. Disney customer service before we even sat down this is waiting at the table along with my baby's favorite and they are hot crispy out of the oven what are you getting bro it's going to my room too. <laughs> all right so for dessert I'm gonna get a Olaf campfire s'mores bar and a Mickey bar isn't this so cute? Look at this. I like to do this. Oh. It's hot. <laughs> puddle. Don't lie to the man. You'll be a puddle. Don't do it, son. Don't do it, Olaf. They send you up a bed. They're not your friends. You'll be a puddle. Stay away from the sun. I just ordered the butter cake. I've never had it before. I didn't have it on my last trip. Miss Alicia suggested it, so that's what I'm getting. Everything that she suggested on this trip, slap. Slaps, son, slaps. Slaps. It's bussin' bussin'. It's the best more Sunday. I just got a little chocolate chip mint ice cream. It looks so good. I thought I was getting the Sunday with the chocolate on top and the caramel. But apparently I didn't need it. <laughs> Pirates Night was a success. We had some great fireworks, like only Disney can do it. That is gonna be a wrap for the night. I will hang out with y'all tomorrow because I am sleepy, I'm about to take a shower. We all had a great time tonight, as always. And until next time, good night.